Father Yahuwah, thank you for the perfect sleep. Thank you for being our refuge and an ever-present help in times of trouble. Thank you for being the upholder and the sustainer of our lives. Thank you for your grace and your mercy that has followed us all the days of our lives. Father Yah, I confess on behalf of myself, my family, past and present generations, and my brothers and sisters scattered across this globe. I confess that we have sinned against you and your covenant. We have done what is evil in your sight. We are guilty of not keeping the oath that was made with you. We have sinned and fallen short of your glory. I declare that you are righteous and you are a righteous Elohim. You are faithful to your word all of the time. We, your people, we ask humbly for your forgiveness. For we are called by your name and we are your people. And so we repent and turn back to you. Father Yah, have mercy and hear our prayers. Cleanse our hearts and renew our minds with a steadfastness to obey your good and perfect will. We bow to you. We die to ourselves so that we may live in you. Thank you for the conviction and not condemnation. Thank you for not turning us over to our sin, but instead snatching us out of the lion's den, cleansing our minds to think on what is lovely, what is true, what is pure, what is excellent, and what is praiseworthy. Thank you for renewing our minds so that we no longer conform to the bondage of this world and the traditions of this world, but that instead we are transformed and we are becoming a new creature, walking in your light and defending your truth. Thank you for the gift of deliverance from our enemy. We know the enemy's job is to distract us and to destroy us and to change our destiny. But thank you, Father Yah, for the authority over the enemy so that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Thank you for deeper understanding and revelation of your truth. You and your word are the foundation of our lives. And we declare this day that we are in a covenant relationship with you. Therefore, Father Yah, bind our minds to the mind of Christ that his thoughts will become our thoughts, that his motives will be our motives. Bind our emotions to the truth of your word, that we will lead our emotions and that our emotions will not lead us, and that we will base our faith in you on fact and not our feelings. And we bind our spirits to your Holy Spirit and to the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of power and counsel, the spirit of understanding and the reverence, fear, and awe of you, Father Yah. We submit our lives to you, and therefore we resist the enemy, and your word promises that he will flee from us. And so we loose all unrighteous agreements and evil covenants that come up against you. We loose all generational curses and any mindsets, attitudes, habits, beliefs, word curses, lusts, desires, unforgiveness, unbelief, fear, or anything else connected to those unrighteous covenants and agreements or anything that is attempting to become a stronghold to destroy our destiny and being your set apart people to serve and worship you. Father Yah, we bind and loose all of these things in the name of your son, Yahusha. Thank you for understanding how this world works and how to apply your word in our circumstances. Yes, the weapons are formed and the fiery arrows come, but they will not prosper as long as we have our full armor on and we have our shield of faith to extinguish them and knowing that we have the victory, that we start in a position of victory, 
that we have victory in Christ, Yeshua. And thanks be to you that you give us victory. And therefore we stand firm and let nothing move us, always giving ourselves fully to your work, always giving ourselves fully to your word, because we know that our labor is not in vain. We know that we can endure and persevere and receive your gift of salvation. We have victory in your son and it is because of him that we live, move, and have our very being in this day. We give you thanks. We give you glory. We say we love you. You are Abba, our Father. It is in your son's name, Yahusha, that we say hallelujah.